Okay, uh, welcome back guys into another video. And in today's video, as promised, I am gonna teach you how to reduce, which is how to take no knockback or very little knockback in Minecraft. So uh, let's get the video started, started. So the f first thing that I'm gonna show you guys is the regular Minecraft knockback. Um, so it looks like this where I hit them and you see how much knockback I take that's like one two three four five six seven that's around eight blocks of knockback guys I can do it one more time uh, we're just gonna hit them and again we take like quite a bit knockback and now I'm gonna try to reduce so this is gonna be me reducing as you can see I stayed on that one block until he hit me again I stayed right here we'll try it again so Again, I stay like on that one block and I just give back so much knockback. It's like I take none, yet I give him so much knockback. As you can see, he played angles there and I was not expecting that, which is a very good counter. So if you see someone that is trying to reduce on you, that is a great counter if you're also reducing. Um, <laughs> okay, buddy. Um, but it looks like now I just want to explain that you can only reduce with the knockback sticks. So yeah, if you're in a Bed Wars game, guys, and you do have a sword, that's not really going to be good for you as it's just not going to register hits and you're just going to die. So like, for example, if I use my fists and try to reduce, you can see that I will still take the knockback. It's just he didn't hit me that one time, but I... Okay, so as you can see, if I try to reduce, I still take all that knockback. It's just like, you see that? Whereas if I use a knockback stick, I take like none, unless I don't hit him. That is one thing, guys. You do have to be very accurate with your shots, and you do need to drag click. Now, if you guys aren't sure how to drag click, I do, in fact, have a tutorial uh, it is called how to drag click 20 plus CPS, although if you look at my LMB, I can hit 40 if I really wanted to. And my RMB, I really could hit 40, but it looks like this tape really doesn't want to push that far. But my average is around 30 to 40. Um, and that's pretty much how you reduce, guys. It's really not difficult to do. You definitely do need to drag click, though. Unless you can butterfly a CPS of, like, 30 to 25. I believe that still works, but I don't really think anyone can butterfly that high. No offense to you really fast sweat clickers. But, uh, yeah, guys, it looks like this is going to be it for the video. Um, if you guys want a more of an explanation, just write in the comments and I will read them, I promise you. And before I end, I just want to give a huge shout out to Astro119. He is helping me right now and he's going to be in all my clips, I hope. Um, maybe make a little bit of a partnership with him. He's going to always help me with these clips and stuff. And Oh yeah, buddy? Yeah, yeah, do that one more time, I dare you. Do it. All right. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. See what happens, guys? Because then you reducing can get really OP. And look, he lost. Look at him. Look at him just sit there. Yeah, that's what I thought, buddy, okay? Don't mess with a guy trying to give a tutorial, okay? He will not fail. Psych! That's the wrong number! Oh! I'm sorry about posting, not really posting that much i have been really busy but hopefully i will shake that off the cps you want to be able to get is around 25 plus as if because if they he can probably click let's say 12 maximum if he jitters or even 15 and you really want more, like around 15 ish more cps than your opponent to be able to drag click because if i do a short drag i will demonstrate getting only like 10 cps short drag he will, I will still take the knockback, I'm sure. Because right now, if I hit him, right now he takes knockback. But if I right now try and get him with just a short drag, it's not going to be that effective. That time it worked. But if I go like this, as you can see, I am still taking that knockback. And actually, before I end this video, I did almost forget to tell you guys this. You need to W-tap. 
that is a big issue. And if you don't know what W tapping is, it's a sh it's essentially where you start running and you let go of W as you run. So if I go reduce on him without any W tapping whatsoever, you can see that it will work for a bit, but you'll definitely give him a further knockback if you do W tap, because if I go like this, you can see, look at how far he, he went back as opposed to if I don't W tap, he only gets knocked back a few feet as if he's reducing. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this tutorial. Um, please like and subscribe if you did enjoy, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.